Hey day campers, it's Jesse. Today we're going to talk about some indoor games that you can play that will one, get you off the couch, two, might be a fun challenge or competition that you can do for your family. Um, but overall it's just kind of something to break up a little bit of the monotony of your day. Um, and so I hope that you find these fun and entertaining um, and you make some new games out of them. Um, we are going to start first with kind of a basket toss. And so what you need is about 10, maybe 20, do however many you like, soft things. So these can be balled up socks. These can be dog toys. I am using dog toys because I don't really wear a lot of socks. So I don't have 10 pairs to ball up for you. Um, but yeah, so you can use 10 soft things that are easy to toss um, and things that aren't gonna break things in your home. And so get some approval from your parents before you start throwing things around, um, but 10 soft things. You also are going to need an open space for you to be able to do this game. And so it's gonna be space that you're gonna be able to move freely in um, and that if you do toss something and it goes a little wonky, you're not gonna break anything. And so find that kind of space in your home. Um, this is my kind of open space. Um, this is my dog, Fitz. We are using his toys today to play this game. So hopefully he will let me play it, but he might make it a bit more interesting. We will see. So again, 10 soft things, but also something to toss them in. So a basket or a bowl, or you could probably even like mark out a section on the floor with tape, um, something parent approved that you can use to kind of make a goal for this. Um, so there are multiple ways that you can play this game. You can set up multiple baskets that have different points on the front. You can set up one basket and set a timer for yourself. You can set up a basket and challenge a family member, a brother, a sister, cousin, whoever you're home with. Um, but yeah, there's just multiple ways that you can play this game and get active and get your heart moving um, and just kind of have a little bit of competition and a little bit of fun while you're at home. Um, I also highly recommend some good active wear, some things that you can easily move in um, so that you have the best chance of being the best at the basket toss. Um, so find a spot that works and makes you comfortable to play this game, but then also you need a starting point. So I'm gonna kind of use this little Ford, my little red ottoman here is our starting point. And I'm gonna dump out all of my soft things and then I'm gonna place my basket at a distance in front of me. So we're gonna start right there. I'm not good with sports. Um, so we're going to put it a little close so that I have a little bit of a chance. So then what you're going to do, at least for my first round, I'm going to pick up a toy and I'm going to try and toss it into the basket. And I missed. Um, but then you can time yourself and see how long it takes you to toss all the toys into the basket. You can see how many you get into the basket in a minute um, or in 30 seconds or however much you want to challenge yourself with. Um, another way that you can do this is that you can set a timer. So time yourself for 45 seconds. And then when the timer starts, you're gonna grab a toy, you're gonna run it to the basket, drop it in, bring it back, grab another toy, drop it in. And that way you can challenge yourself to see who can get all the toys in the fastest. Can you do it in under a minute? Can you do it in under 45 seconds? There are a lot of different ways that you can play this game. Um, if you set up multiple baskets, you can see who can get the most points. So label each one with like five, 10, 15, 20, maybe even make kind of a trick shot that if you get it, you get like a hundred points, um, get creative and just have fun. But it's a really great way to get moving while you're at home, especially on these really gloomy spring days.